Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial for Hammer. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at how you can use the data analysis features in Hammer Hub to analyze the data captured using your drone. So let's jump right in. So what I've got on the screen here is essentially Hammer Hub. You can, you can get to this by visiting hub.hammermissions.com in any modern web browser. So once you type that URL or that web address, you should be able to get into Hammer. And uh, if you've got an account, you should be able to straight log in and see all the features that are available. Now, one of the first things you'll see when you enter this, the when you enter Hammer Hub is uh, you'd have a map in the center of the screen, you would have your tools on the right hand side of the screen and these tools are actually geared towards creating mission automation using your drone. So you've got lots of different types of missions, for example you've got the classic mapping mission uh, but you've also got various, various specialized missions, for example the roof inspection mission, solar inspection mission and um, tower inspection mission. So this is all related to mission automation and we have a number of other videos that are related to how you could automate your flight using Hammer. In this specific video we're concerned with how you can actually use the Hammer Hub platform to analyze your data. So let's let's go into the data analysis tab and have a look further. So once you've switched into the data analysis tab what you can do, can do is you can create a new project um, you can tap on the new project um, button which will allow you to enter project details. So step one is to enter your project details. Let's say for the specific demo we're going to demo a roof inspection. So I'm going to call this roof inspection one uh, or roof inspection demo. And uh, right after I've entered the name I can enter the type of the project. So typically Hammer allows you to inspect many different types of assets, many different types of structures. Uh, roof is only one of the many structures you can inspect. Um, so for the purpose of the demo, we're going to select roof, but if you're inspecting a different asset, then feel free to choose that. Uh, once you've added your type of the asset, you've got to now add a description. So uh, let's say this is a commercial roof uh, for a warehouse located in uh, the uh, located in South Southern Europe. Um, this is just a description. You can add anything that you want for for your specific mission. And once you've added the description, you can also associate a, a, a mission file with this particular project. So as you might be already aware, Hammer is also an automation platform for your drones. And what you can do is you can associate the mission file used to automate the mission with your specific data project. So over here I'm creating a data project and if I used a specific mission file to collect that data in flight, that is during the data capture, then I can associate that file with it. Let's say that file was test2, so I'm just adding that over here. And, uh, and then I can essentially hit continue. Hammer will also tell you how many data projects you have remaining in the month. Uh, for this specific demo at the moment I've got 100. So every time you create a project, one of these uh, remaining credits for your data projects will be used. So once I hit continue, I'll then be asked to uh, choose images or drag them here for upload. One final check will let you see that you've entered the right name for the project, you've got the right type and you've also got the right description uh, associated with it. So once you're happy you can essentially create the project um, and this is where the upload of the project will begin. Now this is just a very quick demonstration of how you can actually upload the data. In the interests of time I've already created a project uh, that has been pre-uploaded and what I'm going to do now is right after the project is uploaded, I'm going to um, I'm going to switch to the tab of an existing project and show you what you can do after your data has been uploaded. So once your data has been uploaded, you should be able to open the project. Um, but what we want to do now is we want to go back to existing projects and um, let's say roof inspection. So I've got the currently created project roof inspection demo here, but um, let's let's go back to a previous project roof inspection so that I can talk you through what you do once you have the data uploaded. So once you've got the data uploaded, what you will then see is essentially uh, all the data uh, available uh, as thumbnails on a map. So all the images uh, will be available to see uh, on the on the on the map screen. And you'll also see thumbnails for all the images that are captured by the drone um, in the bottom section of the of the window. 
Now, what we recommend here is that if you wanted to open a specific project, you can either do that by just clicking on the uh, clicking on the image in the in the thumbnails below. Um, and once you've opened an image, you can essentially scroll your mouse. So if you have a mouse attached to your computer, we highly recommend it for the specific application. It would allow you to uh, really zoom into uh, the images that are captured by a drone um, and allow you to create annotations. To create annotations, as the hint says above, you essentially have to hold the shift, shift key and create, click and drag the mouse to create a new rectangle annotation. So let's say in this image we had uh, noticed something odd. Uh, so let's say we're not happy with the state of the, uh, of the asset and we want to mark some specific defect. Let's say we want to talk about, uh, we want to talk about this particular uh, damp uh, over here on this roof. So what we can do is hold the shift key uh, and we can draw a rectangle which will allow us to, uh, uh, to add a comment. So we can sort of say water damp on roof uh, and we can add a tag to it as well. So we could sort of say this is a medium issue um, uh, or we could say it's a severe issue. Uh, but uh, for this particular example, we're just going to leave it at medium. So essentially, we add medium and we tap OK. And now that specific tag has been stored for that specific uh, location on the image. So, and you can also see where this actually is on the map. So if you go back to the map view, the red pin will show you where this image is on the roof in the context of the global map. So if this is the roof we're talking about, then this is where that image is. So if I wanted to open a completely separate image, if I wanted to see what's going on, let's say in that section of the roof, I can essentially just click on the, the yellow dot representing that image. And what I should see on the right hand corner is essentially that image. So if I zoom into my map here, you can tell that this specific blue slash gray area is, is exactly the same as I see on the image here, which has been collected in a much higher resolution by the drone. So again, I can basically zoom in and I can look at any defects. I can look at any issues that I see with the roof that need to be jumped upon or looked at. Um, Let's say I've got an issue with the cabling going around on this roof. Again, I can mark it. This time around, if I wanted to follow the specific shape, which is not very rectangular, I can actually go into the go into the other tool, which is a, a irregular polygon tool, and I can start drawing by holding down the shift key. Um, and what will happen is that a polygon will start appearing on the screen. So I can really follow the geometry of the cables that I see on the roof and I can mark them exactly as they appear so that I'm not uh, taking away an extra space. To be able to close this polygon, I just have to uh, double click and we've got a polygon marked over here. So what I can say, um, uh, sort of stray cables on roof needs to be checked. Um, now this is all just an example, but basically you can sort of say this is a, you can say this is a severe issue as opposed to a, a medium one and you can tap OK. And now you've got that annotation saved once again uh, on the roof. So you can now sort of repeat the same process for every single image. So going back to the very first image, um, we have that annotation saved over there. Uh, and now we can sift through every single image uh, on the roof uh, by simply um, going through every single image. So you just press the left and right arrow keys and all images should load up. Uh, what I should also mention here is that Hammer caches these images so that the first time you, you load them, it, it takes a couple of seconds for it to load. But right after that, you will see that it's nearly instantaneous to go back to any previously visited image. Uh, and that's just uh, the beauty of being able to cache the images so that your inspection is fast, almost as if all these images were directly on your computer so you don't have any noticeable lag in being able to go through all the images. Um, and uh, that's basically it. That's how you can sort of repeat the process for all this, all the images below. Um, uh, I'm not in the interest of the time for this demo. I'm not going to go through every single image. But in theory, you can open any image. You can see it on the map. 
you can uh, look at the details of the image from the from the drone itself you can mark annotations and once you're done you can essentially then share the projects with other stakeholders in your organiza organization so you can uh, hit share and that would allow you to create uh, create a public link to the specific project. You can copy that link and you can send it across to any team member that might want to view the projects. Uh, whether or not they have a Hammer account, they should be able to view the projects. Um, you can also use this to share the projects with a third party. For instance, you might be doing this job for a specific customer or a specific client, and you want to you want to send the project to them so that they can look at the data that you've captured. You can very well do that as well by simply sending the link to the projects to anyone outside of your organization. In our business and Business Plus plans, we also allow for sharing the projects with other users so that you can essentially collaborate on the projects and they can have the same shared view to the same same centralized project so you can both work on the same project at the same time which again reduces the amount of back and forth within the organization and allows for better operational efficiency the last but not the least you can also generate a report so what you can do is you can press the report option and you can hit the generate report uh, button. Uh, what this will do is that it will tell Hammer to take all the images which have annotations in them. For instance, the cabling that we just marked as well as the damping on the roof. You can mark those annotations and Hammer will now create a report out of these annotations uh, in the form of a PDF which can be downloaded uh, and uh, once again shared with the uh, other stakeholders on the project. This could be a client, this could be a customer, or it could also be other people in your organization that need to see the condition of the report, which is very easy for you to now essentially generate and send through. And uh, that's basically it. That's how you can essentially complete your inspection workflow for a roof. Uh, but the important thing to also understand is that Hammer is not just built for roof inspection. You can use it for facade inspections, for example. So if you've got facade data, uh, you can essentially upload it to the platform in a very similar way, and you should be able to go through all the images. So over here, I've got a facade project of uh, a church in Italy that was automated, which that was captured with automation used from Hammer. And you can very well mark defects, uh, exactly the same process as you followed in the roof. Uh, projects you can do that with hammer 2 um, and the same thing follows for a wind turbine project so you can upload data for a wind turbine project um, as well as uh, any other structure for instance a solar panel or a tower that you're looking to inspect you can create those projects uh, in hammer for example a cell tower or a power line inspection and all of these can be annotated shared and reported in very much the same way as the roof inspection projects. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the, the capabilities for Hammer's inspection uh, related features in Hammer Hub. Um, if you think that this is interesting and would like to try it out, um, please feel free to create an account on Hammer Hub, which is uh, now av available at hub.hammermissions.com. Uh, if you have any questions or thoughts on how we can make the inspection platform better, please do let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.